Hello and welcome, this is your Funky Onky with Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Blind, episode 150. In this one, I gave him a sick ass new sword and spent a whole lot of money on runes, so he better freaking appreciate it. You willing to talk? You are not quite as callow as I thought. That is unexpected. Um, seriously, what's that supposed to mean? Callow? It is a word in your tongue. It means without feathers, as a new hatched bird. I know what the word means. Uh, yeah, yeah, I totally knew what the word means. Then why ask? I meant it. Why did you think I was callow? You probably give most people that impression. You'll get over it, eventually. Thanks. So now will you tell me why you were caged? I caged myself. A weak mind is a deadly foe, as you are no doubt aware. What do you mean by a weak mind? That is complicated. I came to your lands with seven of the Beresad, my brothers, to seek answers about the Blight. We made our way across the Ferelden countryside without incident, seeing nothing of the threat we were sent to observe. Until the night we camped by Lake Callanhad. They came from everywhere. The earth beneath our feet, the air above us. Our own shadows harbored the darkspawn. I saw the last of the creatures cut down, too late. I fell. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna piss him off, not when I'm finally making progress with him. That sounds like what happened to me in Ostagar. I heard the stories of Ostagar. Your kith stood their ground when others fled. No one can do more than that. I don't know how long I lay on the battlefield among the dead. Nor do I know how the farmers found me. I only know that when I woke, I was no longer among my brothers. And my sword was gone from my hand. What'd you do? I searched for it. And when that failed, I asked my rescuers what had become of it. Did the farmers know where it was? They said they found me with nothing. Did you believe them? I did. I knew they didn't have the blade. They had no reason to lie to me. I panicked. Unthinking, I struck them down. You panicked over a lost blade? That sword was made for my hand alone. I have carried it from the day I was set into the Beresad. I was to die wielding it for my people. Even if I could cross Ferelden and Tevinter, unarmed and alone, to bring my report to the Arishok, I would be slain on sight by the Antarm. They would know me as Solas, a deserter. No soldier would cast aside his blade while he drew breath. Couldn't we search for it? If I knew where to look, it would be in my hand now. So, that's it? You aren't going to do anything about it? What would you have me do? It could be anywhere by now. Well, where'd you fight the Darkspawn? Near Lake Callanhad. Yeah, well, you know what? We'll find it. Perhaps those words are empty, but thank you all the same. And really, if that is not a super... Oh, do you see that? Plus 16. But if that is not a super goddamn uber sword for him, I'm going to be pissed. Because it's... I'm going to have to jump through some fucking hoops to get it. Um, I don't feel like talking to Wynn. I don't feel like talking to Zevran. Okay, let's go get my new armor. Uh, mount up, everyone. <clears throat> and yes, yes, yes. I think this is the party I'm going to be using for at least a little while. Three damage, three warriors with a healer. What do you mean? Oh, give certain items to your party. For when I first read it, I thought it said give it to items to certain party members. I'm like, no, you can give items to all of them. What are you talking about? You're retarded. And I gotta say, I did not expect Wynn to like that book of stories as much as she, or that storybook as much she, as she did. But yeah, we'll see. If I can get, um, what's his face, the elf, to actually become a skillful rogue who can, like, unlock stuff and disarm traps and stuff, then I'll start bringing him along with me. 
that's not happening for a little while. Right now, I'm thinking that it's time for a brute force tactic. But first, I want my armor. I want my armor. Hmm. Gimme. We're closed. Oh, it's you. Yes, it's the me. The Drake scale armor is done. And it's, well, decent. Few things I'm rather proud of. And it didn't take as long as I feared. Odd. You'd better be very proud, Wade. We can't afford any more flights of fancy. I feel good, actually. I wouldn't mind working on Lord such and such's armor today. We'll see how long this lasts. Here's your armor. Now please leave. And so now we get the better Drake skin armor, or the superior. Because not only does it give you an extra boost to fired resistance, you get a boost to dexterity. Boom, da boom, and jada uh, boom. My stamina is at negative. And it's also, no, it's got the same armor levels, but still, its boosts are definitely better. Um, I guess I'll give Wade's stuff to Zevran. But, um, you actually have some decent stuff here. Welcome. Yeah, it's me. Please, Lee. Yeah. No, I want to buy, I want to buy your shit. Welcome. Uh, fuck you. All right, fine. Which is a shame, because as the game progresses, he actually starts to get some really good armor here. Like, it, it progresses as you go. And, um, also, you can use... Oh, shit. We're done here, then, I think. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure that anything I need to do in Denerim is elsewhere. So, let us get on out of here... And we're gonna head off and search in search of a sword. Like Helen had docks. But yeah, my my plan is and this was the plan I had before, but the plan is once we're done here, which is probably going to kill the ep yeah, it's going to kill the episode. Then we're going to head back to the Dalish Woods, finish that up, get all of the Juggernaut pieces. Every time Sten levels up, I'm going to pu pump everything I have into strength so that he's strong enough to use the Juggernaut armor. Get um, Zevran some actually useful rogue talents like lock picking and such, so that he actually becomes a, a help instead of a hindrance. Take him along, and it's going to be. Me, Sten, um, Zevran, and of course, Wynn. Because I'm not going anywhere without Wynn. Oh, you suck. Your goods are terrible. They don't advance. Really, that armor place that I was at, I, I noticed this in my other game, that the, the, the stuff that they sell keeps getting better and better. Well, like, the, the stuff that it's made out of. You know, first it starts off with iron and steel, and then you get to red steel and silverite, and before you know it, they've got fucking dragon bone shit there. Well, I don't know if I'd go that far, but they get some very, very good stuff there. Oh, and I also went there. Finally realized the fact that that's not downloadable content is already installed came with the disc why is my map still up go away and here he is hey you back off I was here first you haven't seen a sword lying around here have you why you looking to buy one no but my very large angry friend here is oh is he uh, well that's uh... See, I'd like to sell you one, but I don't, uh, have any myself. I got part of a glove. The wolves didn't chew too badly, though. I think it was a glove, anyway. I know, don't say it. I got cheated. I knew the guy who was here before me. He sold me this spot. Said he found giants and all kind of crazy valuables. He didn't mention that he'd taken everything but the bones and the dirt already. His name's Ferrin. 
squirrely little bastard, if you ask me. Which you didn't, but I said it anyway. Where is he now? He was going to Orzammar, he said. I imagine he's gotten there by now. Ah. If you find him, tell him I sent you. It'll scare the piss out of him. Ah. Well, we now have another reason to go to Orzammar. But unfortunately, that will have to wait until next time. Um, we This is just a rundown. This is what I did. This is what I'm going to do. We're going back to, the, to all of the crap down here. And we're going to do the shit with the werewolves and the Dalish. And then I'm going over here to get the fucking golem. I, I did this first last time. I didn't get the better armor last time, so I'm kind of cheating, but I don't care. But we're going back here, and then we're going to go get the golem's armor, and then we're going to Orzammar once that's done. So, thanks for watching, everyone. This has been your Funky Honky with Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. It'll be blind in another eight, nine episodes, I promise. Uh, stay tuned for episode 151, and I hope you'll see me next time.